Good. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Like I said earlier in my previous video, my name is Janet Chinelo Anauku. I'm from Anambra State. Anambra is local government to be precise. And today I'm going to take you guys to show you guys how I make my Onubu soup, commonly known as bitter leaf. So let me introduce you guys to the ingredients I'm going to be using for this soup. Over here I have my stock fish, scotch bonnet pepper, salt, crayfish, ogili, a cocoa yam that I boiled and blended earlier. I have my stock. And over here I have my fish. Today I don't have a dry fish, so I'm going to be substituting the dry fish with a, this fish that I fried earlier. This is a... Um, uh, what is it calling it? <laughs> this fish is called a uh, medluso in Italian language. I don't know the English name, but it is called medluso. So I'm going to be substituting it with a dry fish since I don't have any. This is the main ingredient because without this, you cannot cook bitter leaf. So let's get started. But before we start, I want to also introduce you guys to the be using to cook this soup. Over here I have my meat that has been boiling for about 40 minutes now. I have goat meat, shaki, and uh, a body. It has been boiling for 40 minutes now. So let's get started. I was about forgetting one thing. I have my palm oil here because we'll be needing palm oil too for the soup. So let's get started. Red oil. I'm adding the red oil now because I wouldn't want the red oil to be tasting raw later on. And also because the type of oil that we see here in abroad is not really the type of oil that we used to use in Nigeria. So I'll start by adding it now so that it will cook thoroughly. I will also add the bitter leaf because it's kind of hard. So I'm adding it now. Add my scotch bonnet pepper. About the pepper, I have to be careful because my children will be eating out of this soup. So I don't want it to be too hot for them. I'll add my crayfish. A salt to taste. Stock. For today, I don't have no cubes, so I'm using this type that we normally use in Italy. And it's also good. In fact, I prefer this more than no cubes. So, I'm using it. Add the ugly. Guys, this thing stinks so much, but it just takes the bitter leaf soup to another level. So, that's why I love it so much. And that's why I'm using it. In fact, no one will cook without ugly. So, and allow, um, allow to cook for about 10 minutes. I will allow it to cook for 10 minutes before I add my cocoa yam inside. So let's wait and allow it to cook for 10 minutes. Then we we'll be back to add the cocoa yam. Sorry guys, over here I have to come in with a voiceover because along the line I found out that my audio wasn't functioning. But as you can see from the video, I am now adding the blended cocoa yam into the soup. Then after adding it, we are going to allow it to boil for an extra 10 minutes again. Forgive me guys because... <laughs> As 
as i said earlier this is my second video so i still have a lot to learn on this platform let's be watching so i'm also adding my fried fish like i said earlier i was supposed to use be using dry fish but since i ran out of dry fish and i wanted my soup to have a taste of fish i came up with something by frying the fresh fish i had at home because i just wanted a taste of fish in this soup so as you can see i'm adding the fish then we are going to cover again and allow to cook for 10 minutes again then we'll be back to check so guys our soup has been cooking for 10 minutes after i added the cocoyam puree and as you can see the soup is ready our soup is ready and this is what it looks like after cooking it so i will be dishing it out it's looking nice color everything we'll be eating it with semon gari or pando yam you can eat it with any swallow of your choice and this is what it looks like after cooking so please if you're coming across this channel for the first time this is actually my second video on youtube please stop by by subscribing help your sister to grow and also like my video and share if possible help to subscribe and uh, allow your sister to grow thank you all for watching and please do stop by anytime you see my video thank you and god bless you all